Decimal place value. Before we begin, let's refresh our memory on the place values of whole numbers. Let's say we have the number 127. We have a 1 in the hundreds place, so we draw 1 square. 1 square represents 100. We have 2 in the tens place, so we draw 2 bars. 1 bar represents 110. We have a 7 in the ones place, so we draw 7 circles. A circle represents a 1. We see that the three numbers are in different places and have different values. 1 has a value of 100, 2 has a value of 20, and 7 has a value of 7. When we add up all three values, we get 127. Notice that each place is 10 times larger than the place to its right. We can easily see this when we put the same number into each place. We have a 2 in the 1's place, a 2 in the 10's place, and a 2 in the 100's place. A 2 in the 1's place has a value of 2. A 2 in the 10's place has a value of 20. 20 is 10 times more than 2. We have a 2 in the 100's place, so the value is 200. 200 is 10 times more than 20. Now let's take a look at decimal place value. A decimal number consists of two parts, a whole number and a fractional part. The whole number is to the left of the decimal. It can have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and so on. The fractional part is to the right of the decimal. It can have tenths, hundredths, thousandths, and so on. The fractional part of the decimal represents parts of wholes. This part is always less than one. One tenth is the same as one out of ten parts. One hundredth is the same as one out of a hundred parts. One hundredth is ten times less than one tenth. One thousandth is one part out of one thousand parts. And it is ten times less than one hundredth. The place values of the fractional part of the number end with th. So we say tenth, hundredths, and thousandths. To start, let's remove the hundredths and thousandths. We have the number 127.3. Let's draw it out. We have 100, 2 tens, 7 ones, and 3 tenths. 3 tenths is the same as saying 3 out of 10 parts. So we split a circle into 10 equal parts and shade in 3 parts. 100 is the same as 100. 2 tens is the same as 20. 7 ones is the same as 7. And 3 tenths is the same as 3 over 10. When we add up these values, we get 127.3. Let's try another example. We have 243 and 67 hundredths. Let's draw it out. We have two hundreds, four tens, three ones, six tenths, and seven hundredths. Six tenths is the same as saying six out of ten parts. We can draw six tenths by splitting up a circle into ten equal parts and coloring in six parts. Now let's take a look at the hundredths. Seven hundredths is the same as saying seven out of a hundred parts. We can write 243 and 67 hundredths in expanded form. We'll have 200 plus 40 plus 3 plus 6 over 10 plus 7 over 100. Let's do another example. 136 and 465 thousandths. Let's draw it out. We have 100, 3 tens, 6 ones, four tenths, six hundredths, and five thousandths. Four tenths is four out of ten. Six hundredths is six out of a hundred and five thousandths is five out of a thousand. Let's write the decimal number into expanded form. We have 100 plus 30 plus six plus four over 10 plus six over 100 
plus 5 over 1000. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.